Thank you for watching everyone. I'm David Carroll and I'm Cindy Sexton. It has been quite a month for Dade County Sheriff's Major Tommy Bradford. He lost part of his leg while trying to stop a speeding burglary suspect and has undergone several operations and physical therapy. Last week he returned home to a hero's welcome. This evening we talk with him about how he's coping with his injuries and his plans for the future. This isn't how Tommy Bradford expected to spend life after Labor Day. There are home projects to complete, grass to mow, and roads to patrol. The Dade County Sheriff's Major is adapting to a new lifestyle and new challenges. But as far as like mowing grass and stuff, I've, I've got a hog before I can do that, so I have to just depend on other people to do it for me, and that's just not something I'm used to. On August 7th, Bradford lost part of his leg while laying spike strips along Highway 11 just south of Trenton. He was hit by a driver on the run, suspected of committing a crime in DeKalb County, Alabama. It was a moment he'll relive the rest of his life. I wish timing had been better, uh, but it wasn't. It, like a, it's, it just happened where it happened, and uh, I mean, I wouldn't go back and change anything. It, it slowed it down enough to where no one else got hurt, so that was the main goal. Bradford's injuries were life-threatening and life-changing. Quick medical attention and a series of surgeries, followed by intense physical rehab, allowed him to return home within a month to a hero's welcome. It has all happened so fast, he's still coming to grips with what happened and what lies ahead. I mean, just being able to take care of yourself. And, you know, we've got a little one-year-old that my wife has to take care of, and now she's got a 44-year-old baby that she has to take care of. So. Uh, just learning how to start getting back on my own to relieve a lot of the pressure off her. In the days immediately after he was injured, the 25-year officer figured it was time to retire. He was concerned about his loss of mobility. But during his recovery, he reconsidered and decided to stay on the job. What changed his mind? I just felt like I'd put in my time and it's time for me to move on. Uh, but then after the community support that I received, I, Felt like that was kind of a selfish uh, decision. Bradford's wife, Mary Ann, credits his can do attitude with speeding up the healing process. His positive spirit, his positive outlook, that's just kept us from. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a tragic situation, but the way he's reacted, we have to react the same way. So we're just looking at all the positives, and he's here. That's the main thing. Although he survived the hardest part, he knows there's a long way to go. Chores once taken for granted are out of the question for now. But he's determined to continue serving a community he has long called home and to repay the citizens of Dade County for their love. The community here supports us real good, so uh, that's one thing I like, working for this community because of the support they give us. Now, Major Bradford underwent his latest surgery today on his leg, and, you know, Cindy, you were asking me about a prosthetic. He will be getting one soon, assuming all these procedures go well. Also, he'll be having surgeries to regain the use of his shoulder and hand. Love seeing that story and following his progress. And and, you he, know, he's feeling the love from so many right. people. And, you know, you were talking about some of the tasks, like uh, mowing the lawn and that deck they were sitting on, mm -hmm. which is still unfinished. He wants to get back to doing the, those wow. things. And uh, he made me realize, you know, I, you hear me complain about mowing the grass. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to complain anymore. He, he misses it, and so would wow. I. Great guy, and we'll keep you posted on his progress.